So we've talked about the cranial nerves, which are a part of the peripheral nervous system. They're paired nerves that branch directly off of the brain. With this particular folder, we're going to get into the other type of peripheral nerve, which are the spinal nerves. So they're named based on the fact that they branch directly off of the spine. If you look at this diagram over here, you can see an artist's representation of these spinal nerves. So they are 31 pairs of nerves. They're paired just like the cranial nerves are that branch off of the spinal cord and they're named according to their point of issue from the spinal cord. So these pairs of nerves up in here in the neck region and the cervical region are known as cervical nerves. Here through kind of the mid back, we have thoracic nerves. So pairs of nerves that are branching off of the thoracic area of the spinal cord. Down here, lumbar nerves, sacral nerves through here, and then we've got one little coccygeal nerve that's branching off in the area of the coccyx. These particular spinal nerves are further differentiated with numbers. So our cervical nerves are each assigned a number just based on their point of issuance. This is our C1 nerves. If you go down below that, the second pair that branches off are C2, C3, all the way down C4, C5, C6, C7, down to C8. And we've got these pairs of nerves here in the thoracic area. T1 is the first one, T2, T3, T4. You get the idea all the way down to T12. Here in the lumbar region, our pairs of spinal nerves are named L1 through L5. Sacral nerves are S1 through S5. And that little coccygeal nerve that I mentioned previously is C0, so that we don't confuse it with the C1, that first cervical nerve that branches off. All of these nerves that are paired and branching off of the spinal cord are mixed nerves. So what you may remember about that is that means that they have some axons that are sending signals away from the brain and spinal cord out to peripheral parts of the body and other axons that are contained within these nerves are sending signals that are sensory towards the brain and spinal cord. So with that introduction to these spinal nerves, their naming, their point of issuance, um, I want to talk a little bit about dermatomes and myotomes because they become important clinically and for the activity that you're working on in this particular folder. So I'm going to talk about dermatomes first, just give you kind of a definition of what they are, um, and then use this diagram here to hopefully further explain how they could be used and what understanding we can get about spinal nerves from them. A dermatome is just an area of skin that's served by the sensory axons of a single spinal nerve. So what that means basically is if you look at this picture here, we've got this guy and he's got certain areas of his body up here in the neck, really the upper chest, most of the arms on the anterior side, all of the arms on the posterior side, the upper back, neck, the head is all color coded green. And the reason for that is these are areas of skin that get their sensation by having sensory signals travel through cervical nerves. So another way of saying that is if somebody comes up and shakes your hand, okay, they touch your hand, you can feel that because the sensation that they're applying to your skin travels up to the brain where you become aware of it through cervical nerves. If you look down here on the posterior side, we've got these areas that are color coded, kind of this tannish color on the front side as well. So it's all of the back or at least the mid back, um, a little small section of the arms, the torso here on the front. These are all areas of skin that are getting their sensation from thoracic spinal nerve. So if you're touched somewhere here on your torso, that sensation is going to be coming up through thoracic spinal nerves and traveling to the brain. We have some lumbar spinal nerves that are responsible for dermatomes in the legs. So you can see these areas that are color coded, kind of this reddish color on the front side and a little bit on the back side as well. Those are areas of skin that are getting their sensation from lumbar spinal nerves. And then the last ones you can see in kind of this pinkish color are the sacral spinal nerves are providing the innervation, so they're providing any sensation that you feel the skin in these areas on the back side and the genital area in the front side through sacral spinal nerves. 
In addition to dermatomes, we also have what are known as myotomes. So a myotome is a group of muscles that's served by the motor axons of a single spinal nerve. So remember that each of our spinal nerves have a sensory component and a motor component. They are mixed nerves. Um, you will have a chance to look at a myotome map with the activity that you're doing today. But I just want to give you an example of this, even without a map. If you think about shrugging your shoulders, that's shoulder elevation. In order to be able to do that, the signals that are telling the muscles in your shoulder area to contract, to allow you to shrug your shoulders, are all coming through C4. Hip flexion, if you were to flex your hip, the motor signals coming from the brain telling the muscles in the hip to contract are all coming through L2. So that's what a myotome is basically. You're gonna have a chance in this particular folder um, to look at dermatomes and myotomes and how they can be used when assessing a spinal cord injury.